The sole survivor of the 2010 Knox County killing says she's been the victim of abuse after her rescue. And she says it's her own father and stepmother who have been abusing her. Larry and Tracy Maynard are both charged with assault and domestic violence. 10 TV's Ashley Berry is live at the Franklin County Courthouse with more on the allegations. Ashley. Well, Kristen, I did speak with Sarah Maynard over the phone today. She said she simply cannot take it anymore. That is why she said something. She didn't want to go into much detail, but prosecutors say these court documents here say plenty. They say that she not only went to police and told police, but also children's services that she feared for her own life. Our 10 TV camera was rolling as Larry Maynard and his wife Tracy appeared in a Franklin County courtroom, handcuffed and charged with one count each of assault and domestic violence. Larry's daughter, 16-year-old Sarah Maynard, made some very serious allegations against both of them. She is very concerned for her safety. We would request a temporary protection order at, on behalf of the minor. According to this criminal complaint, Tracy Maynard, Sarah's stepmom, is accused of kicking her downstairs back on May 8th, while her father Larry is charged with punching her in the back. And on several different occasions, he'd also made threats to kill her. Um, in this particular case, the 16-year-old also indicated that her father has possession of firearms and that she's very concerned about his threats. She told me she is now living in fear, something she's all too familiar with and hoped was finally over. She is the sole survivor of the 2010 murders of her mother, brother, and a family friend in Knox County. Their killer, Matthew Hoffman, also kidnapped Sarah and held her captive for several days. He's serving a life sentence. Sarah has been living with her father ever since. But behind the smiles, Sarah told me for months she's been scared of what would happen next. Both Larry and Tracy pled not guilty to the charges. Both were served with protection papers and ordered no contact with Sarah. And they both posted bond late this afternoon. We stopped by their home to hear what they had to say about these allegations. There was no answer today. We, of course, will continue to follow any developments in this story. For now, we are live downtown. Ashley Berry, 10TV News.